Good morning, you beautiful people. So I'm over at Bayhurst Woods today. Not as early as I usually get over here, but then again, it is my holiday and I'm probably entitled to a couple of days in. The reason why I haven't come out as early is because um, I'm not really seeing the deers. I usually see the deers quite early in the morning, so probably just a little bit of a waste of time getting over so early. Anyway, up front you can probably see a hut early in the morning sometimes probably around about the five o'clock time quite often when I when I walk past that hut I, I seem to spook some deers and they will run out in front of me into the into the tree line I don't think I'll see any there today though so let's have a look and see whether they are there but I very much doubt it Ryship Woods is the, the first national nature reserve in London now that was about 20 odd years ago and the woods is made up of four major woods which is Bayhurst, Mad Best Woods, Copswoods and Parkwoods. Um, in between Copswoods and Parkwoods is the rice at Lido which is famous for its beach which in summer becomes quite populated by locals from all over London. I've lived in rice it pretty much all of my life and uh, I never really really started coming to the woods until probably well I suppose it was Covid and this became my probably my exercise routine coming out here for walks during the day because I was put onto furlough now on the Facebook group for the woods someone said that they were seeing, seeing roe deer over here now I'd never ever seen one so I made it my purpose to try and find the roe deer it took quite a while to find them but I did eventually see one probably the end of last summer since then I met a gentleman who's very interesting really knows his stuff and he took me along a few paths which are off of the main path showed me where I would probably spot the deer and uh, now I do I see him quite regularly but I haven't seen them for a couple of weeks now. We, we know of about five deers that regularly come here. Three does, two bucks. One of them's uh, an older buck. Um, and the does, they're apparently pregnant, the does. Now, a few days ago, someone told me that they'd seen a fawn over here, which is a baby deer. I haven't yet seen any, but I hope to. That's why I keep looking down into the hedgerows, left and right, because quite often the, the fawns will be laying low in the hedges or in the long grass. So I've reached the, the gate. I'm not sure whether it's a kissing gate, but this is where I get into the main field. This is where I see most of the wildlife, the deers and the, and the, the owls. And just up there, I don't know whether you can probably see it, probably not. Trees have overgrown quite a bit. But there is one owl box up there, but you can't really see it now. It's the 8th of June today. Yesterday afternoon it was really, really warm. But today it's um, a little bit overcast. I'm not sure whether it's going to brighten up later. I can see a few blue, little bits of blue in the sky. So hopefully it will cheer up a little bit later on. I don't know whether you can see it, but that's the owl flying about over there. It's uh, doing a couple circuits by the looks of it on the hunt. Looks like it's flying possibly in my direction at the moment. She is. Oh, she's just dived down. There she goes.
So this area here is quite popular for the barn owl to do its hunting in. Plus over the back there, in that tree line, uh, I was talking to a gentleman the other day who said that he'd seen one of the does with a fawn. That's the baby deers. Uh, hopefully they'll pop out at some point. I'd very much doubt at this time during the day, but it's quite quiet today. So who knows? They could be anywhere there. They could be holed up in one of those little shrubs there, or the bushes, or the long grass, especially the the fawns. The mothers will will leave them for quite long periods of the day and go off um, and just leave them. So um, maybe I'll hide up a look over the back there later on, underneath the hedges, in the trees, and see whether I can see one. This tree line here is where I first see a sighting of the deers. It divides the two fields and I suppose it's a safe option for them. They can dive between the trees into the other field if they're spooked. Where I'm standing now, it's um, a little bit higher up than, than the rest of the field. So it's quite a good place to stand and look out for the deers. But uh, the grass is just so long, there's so much vegetation growing up. So, um, yeah, I doubt whether I'm going to see any deers at the moment. Be nice if I do, though. So, I'm going to walk back to the path that I take to go over to the back. Now, quite often, that is where the, the deers are grass is very long over there and um, that could be a place where I might see a fawn in the long grass and um, hopefully they'll pop their heads up I might spook them and they pop their heads up and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage and some photos one of the things I like about when I come out to the woods is to meet some lovely people just had a chat for about three quarters of an hour with a dear old lady walking her little sheep dog and um, she was telling me about her husband who's got dementia and I could feel for her because obviously I look after my mum with dementia and um, she was saying about how she's trying to get funding herself and I know that process it's hard work but she was a dear old lady and then when I first got here I had a really nice chat as well with with another lady walking her dogs and we was talking about the owls that she's seen the owls flying about and um, how she's walked across the back and seen a few deers a few days ago. But yeah, it's really nice. It's, uh, it's lovely, the people that you meet in the woods, they really appreciate the woods, I believe, especially the dog walkers. So I've reached my path, very overgrown now. It's not really a path, it's just where it's got trodden down by a lot of the people that walk over to the back and that's probably one of the best places to see the deers around the back there. You wouldn't think it was because of the noise from the H2 plant that's going on making the new rail link. But um, let's see whether we can see any today. I tell you what I do see quite often and they really spook me because I obviously spook them is pheasants in the long grass. So um, I believe that Pheasants are birds that ground nest and whether they've got chicks in the long grass I I don't know but don't quote me on that as I say I'm not an expert on birds but yeah they really spook me because they ri literally fly up in my face so hopefully maybe we'll see some pheasants just over there whether you can see it there's a tree, I should zoom in as best I can, wherever I can, there we go, just there, I've often heard the deer in those trees there, it's not a great big area of, of um, cover with trees, but they do seem to be in there, now the path leading to that is very very hard now to um, to walk through if the grass has just got so so long so um, I might attempt it in a minute just to see whether 
there's any activity over there. You'll have to uh, excuse all my umming and are in and pausing. It's quite hard to operate the camera on the what they call direct of view. And I'm using a DJI gimbal which basically stabilizes the camera so that you're not getting lots of shakes and that so it looks quite professional but keeping my facing view in the little box area watching what's going on around me is quite it's quite difficult so you just have to excuse all my I'm in an iron I'm sure I should get better at it as I go along every now and again you get little areas where the grass is is flattened this is possibly where the deers have been resting laying down and uh, it flattens the grass so the species of deer that you see over at Bayhurst Woods are the roe deer and obviously monk jack now the roe deer are very very secretive very elusive so it's quite an honour and quite a privilege to be able to, to spot them to get photographs of them um, and as I say if you can get photographs of them and, and they stand still long enough they're lovely to watch this grass has really really got long I was talking to a lady the other day that said that she got a tick attached to her last year and ended up with Lyme's disease so a few weeks back when it was really wet and boggy over here I was wearing Wellington boots but now the grass the grass isn't so wet the ground has firmed up but I have been wearing gaiters on my legs that cover my trousers so that's going to stop any hopefully any ticks getting up my legs and there's my ugly face again so as you can probably see just by the, the path how long the grass is looking at how this flattened grass is it looks like well i say maybe a quad bike has gone over here they do have a lot of problems over here with with people on motocross bikes coming over it's not really fair on the animals but um it's never going to be stopped i'm going to move into this track line because it's a lot a lot flatter with the grass being down right to the ground so my last sighting of one of the doe deers, which is a female deer. Doe deer, female deer, sounds like a song, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, doe a deer, a female deer, yeah, it's a song. So, um, excuse my singing, but it was over the back there, and it must have been in the long grass, because I'd walked back along this path that I'm taking now, heading back to the woodland area and I happened to turn around and there was this deer stood there watching me so obviously I hadn't spooked it it was in the long grass as I'd walked away it stood up and it, it watched me for quite a while I managed to get some really nice photographs of it and it walked off into the trees in the background there I was a little bit worried because beyond those trees is a road that leads you down to the recycling plant which um, was worrying for me so I had to walk right back see where it had gone to but um, I also found that there is another route into another field that leads into a farm so you know I'm hoping that they don't climb down the bank onto the road Well, the sun is making an appearance. It's feeling quite warm over here now. This field here is a really lovely field, but it's really overgrown now. Um, it leads into the farm, and I often see the one of well, the probably the elder of the of the bucks in this field. And last time I see it, he literally just stood there watching me. I, it wasn't spooked or wasn't unnerved by me at all, slowly walked about and came back out into the main field where I'm standing now and I managed to get some really nice photos.
keep expecting Ant and Deck to jump out on me because this is beginning to get a bit like a jungle now. It's ever so long, ever, ever so long. I'll stoop down, you can see how long the grass is. And there I am again. That ugly muck of mine. Well, it's absolutely beautiful now. The sun is out, blue skies. And it's still probably only about seven-ish in the morning. So uh, beautiful. But the owls don't seem to be flowering about hunting as much as they have been the last few days. I'm gonna walk back down to the bottom, the area that they seem to be where I've got a better chance of seeing them as well and to see whether they appear again possibly now that the sun is, is out maybe they've gone into their into their nest and um, their hunting is over for the day but I should go over there so um, looking over the back to see whether I can see anything flying about but I can't I've learned a trick. I can make my face a little bit bigger by tapping on my face. And there you go, back small again. It's clever. You can go to Bushy Park, Richmond Park, just down the road from there, Bentley Priory, and see large herds of deers, but it's not as exciting as coming out to this field here. There's not a lot of the deers here. As I said earlier, they're roe deer that are very secretive, very elusive. You know when you go to these places, like the Royal Parks where they've got the deers. Another one for example is the Windsor, Windsor Park by the castle, along the, the Great Walk. You see loads of the great big red deers there. But they're quite tame now, they're used to seeing people around them. They're not spooked by, by people walking about. They're not even really overly spooked by dogs unless the dogs chase them. But over here, every time I see a deer, it's like seeing one for the first time. I still get the, 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 the buzz from it, the adrenaline of it. Same as seeing the owls. I'm regularly seeing the owls now, but it just fascinates me watching them diving on their hunting and um, swooping up. Sometimes they don't have anything. Sometimes you'll see them carrying, I don't know, maybe a mouse, a little vole, or something like that, some kind of small mammal that they've, uh, mammal, not mammal, but um, yeah. So, but to see wildlife over here, it's just amazing. I hope when people watch these videos, they, they laugh with me and not at me. As I said earlier, I'm not a professional, I'm not a professional photographer. I don't really know a hell of a lot about wildlife. I enjoy wildlife. I enjoy photography. This is my first attempt really at cinematography. Uh, I'm using my phone on a gimbal which is a very clever device that um, takes away all the shake and gives them um, stabilization to the phone. But yeah, this is really my first attempt at making a vlog, as they, wait, they call them. And uh, no doubt there will be some haters, but I'm just an amateur. I'm not sure whether the video is picking this up. Can't really see because the sun is in my eyes, but there's a red kite flying about up there. They're beautiful to watch them. Again, I don't know whether you can see this, but there's a red kite being chased by two black crows at the moment. It's like a, watching a dog fight. I don't know why, why they get attacked by the, the crows, because they're much bigger bigger bird than the crows. I think I'm going to take a walk through the wooded area. Um, I'm hearing the cuckoos now so it'd be lovely to see one. I've never seen one. Beautiful blue sky now. It's about nine o'clock in the morning as well. Nine o'clock in the morning, 8th of June, 2023. Nice and cool now, in the shade of the trees. Come out of the fields now, 
back into the woodland area. I'm going to take a bit of a walk further back. I could hear what is possibly a young deer fawn calling. Um, so it was in the tree tree line. So I'm going to have a walk and see if I can see anything. This is like a little pond here. I must imagine this is possibly where the deers come for their drinks. Every uh, animal like us needs water, so I presume this is possibly a place that they come. I don't know of any other watering holes in the woods, to be honest. So I'm back in the woods now, watching the squirrels running about. The trees are beautiful. As I said earlier, it's uh, quite an ancient wood. Very, very lucky to have it on my doorstep. A few minutes ago, I see a very small deer run through the trees. I'm not sure whether, possibly a fawn, possibly a monk jack deer, but I'm on a path that I've never taken before. It's very quiet. It's not probably a path that many people take. So um, I'm following in the direction that I saw the deer run to. There's a quaint little sty here that I'm going to have to manoeuvre over. 